Chapter Fifteen of Current Superstitions. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, visit LibriVox.org. Current Superstitions by Fanny Dickerson Bergen. Chapter Fifteen Moon Divination. Superstitions 1080 through 1093. Repeat, looking at the new moon the first time you see it. New moon, true moon, tell unto me who my true love is to be, the color of his hair, the clothes he is to wear, and when he'll be married to me. Mansfield, Ohio. On first seeing the new moon, hold any small object in the hand while you repeat, New moon, true moon, reveal to me who my true love shall be, the color of his hair, the clothes he shall wear, and the day that we shall wedded be. Put the object, handkerchief, pebble, or what not, under your pillow at night, and you will dream of your future husband. Prince Edward Island. New moon, moon, hail unto thee. In my sleep upon my bed, may the one I am to wed in my dreams smile on me. Middleborough, Massachusetts. If you see the new moon over the right shoulder, take three steps backward and repeat, New moon, true moon, true and bright, if I have a lover, let me dream of him to-night. If I'm to marry far, let me hear a bird cry. If I'm to marry near, let me hear a cow low. If I'm never to marry, let me hear a hammer knock. One of these sounds is always heard. Tennessee Say to the new moon over your right shoulder, New moon, new moon, come play your part, And tell me who's my own sweetheart, The color of his hair, the clothes he shall wear, And on what day he shall appear. Then dream. Massachusetts The first time you see the moon in the new year, Look at it and say, Whose table shall I spread? For whom make the bed? Whose name shall I carry, and whom shall I marry? Then think of one you would like to marry, and go your way. Ask some questions of the first person you meet, and if the answer is affirmative, it indicates that you will marry your choice. If negative, it means you will not. Told by a Norwegian girl in eastern Massachusetts. Rest a mirror on the head, and look at the new moon in it. As many moons as you see mean the number of months before marriage. When it is new moon, take out a stocking, and as you knit, repeat, This knot I knit, to know the thing I know not yet. This night that I may see who my husband is to be, how he goes and what he wears, and what he does all days and years. Nashua, New Hampshire Look over the right shoulder at the new moon, and count nine stars. Pick up whatever is under your right foot, such as a stick, pebble, or what not, put it under your pillow, and you will dream of whoever is to be your husband. Dear Isle, Maine when you see the moon, say, I see the moon, and the moon sees me, and the moon sees somebody that I want to see. Massachusetts New moon, true moon, true and trusty, tell me who my true love must be. Pennsylvania Wish the first time you see the moon, and your wish will come true. General in the United States and Canada. 
Bow to the new moon seven times the first time you see it, and you'll get a present, or wish, and you will get your wish. New England If you shake your dress at the new moon, you will get a new one. Alabama Fortune Superstitions 1094 through 1109 The moon seen over the right shoulder brings good luck. Over the left shoulder, ill luck. General in the United States If you should see the moon over your left shoulder, and should, without speaking, turn round and look at it over your right shoulder, your ill luck will disappear, and you will be as well off as if you had seen it over your right shoulder first. Maine and Massachusetts It is bad luck to look at the moon over your right shoulder. If through mistake you should look at it over your right, face round, take three steps backward with your hands, clasp behind, and then look at it over the left shoulder. Alabama If you see the moon square in the face, you'll have a fall. Nashua, New Hampshire See the moon over the left shoulder, you will have a fall, or tumble. Bedford, Massachusetts If you have money in the pocket when you first see the new moon, turn it over, and you'll have plenty all the rest of the month. Stratham, New Hampshire If you have money in your pocket the first time you see the new moon, and it is seen over your right shoulder, you will have money all the year. Nashua, New Hampshire, and Massachusetts Take out money and shake it in the hand on first seeing the new moon. It will increase your wealth. Miramichi, New Brunswick Look at the new moon through a ring, wish something while doing so, and your wish will come true. Alabama If you first see the new moon with full hands, that is, with busy hands, you will be busy, full of work all the month. If idle, the reverse. See the new moon through a glass. See sorrow while it lasts. Dear Isle, Maine, and Salem, Massachusetts. If you see the new moon through trees or brush, you will have trouble that month. General in the United States. If you see the new moon full in front, you will meet your lover within the week. If you see the new moon face on, you will go headlong through the month. Salem, Massachusetts Moon full face, open disgrace. Portland, Maine One who chances to have a cup in his hand when he first sees the new moon is destined to wait on the sick until another new moon appears. Alabama Moonlight Superstitions 1110 through 1113 Some say you can see the man's axe and dog in the moon. New Brunswick If the moon shines in your face as you lie in the bed at night, you'll die inside of a year. Central Maine It is a general belief that it is dangerous to sleep with the moon shining on the face. If the moon shines on fish, they will spoil. Horses will be cured of any one of several diseases if you will insert a bit of silver, a dime is the favorite coin, in the part affected. But it is imperative that you do this by the light of the moon. Clover Bend, Arkansas Wax and Wayne 
Superstitions 1114 through 1140. Set out cabbages in the new of the moon to make them head up well, and gather apples in the new of the moon to make them keep well. Plant potatoes in the old of the moon. Mitchell County, North Carolina. Plant flowers in the increase of the moon. Pennsylvania. Be careful as to the phase of the moon when felling timber. General in the United States. If brush and thistles are cut down in the full moon in August, when the sign is in the heart, they will never grow again. Copied from an agricultural paper. Grass cut when the moon is waning will not spend well. New England. If cut when it is waxing, the hay weighs and spends well. New England. Plant peas and potatoes in the increase of the moon. Miramichi, New Hampshire. Seeds should be sown when the moon is new. This custom is still more or less observed. Corn should be planted at this time. Boston, Massachusetts. Plant seed the first three days after the moon changes. Alabama. Plant potatoes in the dark of the moon, so the potatoes will root and yield well. Mansfield, Ohio. The full moon is the time to cut alders, spruce, or other undergrowth, because the roots then die quickly without sprouting. Nova Scotia. Shingle the roof in the decrease of the moon, so the shingles will lie flat. Go down. Else they may warp and rise up. Mansfield, Ohio. If a farmer lays a rail fence by the light of the moon, it will be stronger and last longer than if it was laid in the daytime. Western New York and parts of Massachusetts. Kill any animal for meat on the increase of the moon, and it will increase in the pot. Kill it on the wane of the moon, and it will shrink in the pot. General in the United States. If hogs are butchered on a rising tide, the pork will not shrink in the pan. Massachusetts. You must never kill cattle or pigs or even wild game by the dark of the moon. It is most unlucky, and the meat will come to no good. Clover Bend, Arkansas. If you wean a calf at the time of the full moon, it will make less fuss. You mustn't wean it when the sign is in the belly, or it will never grow fat. Pursue the same course with a pig, or it will squeal. Western Massachusetts. To make hair grow, Cut it in the new of the moon. Newfoundland, New Brunswick, Nova Scotia, Maine, Massachusetts, and Talladega, Alabama. Cut hair the first Friday in the new moon, if you wish it to grow. General in the United States. It is the custom for girls to cut their bangs on the forehead when the moon is new. It is supposed to make them grow. This custom is observed by many intelligent young people. Boston, Massachusetts. Cut hair in the new moon, bury it in earth near a running brook, and it will make the new hair grow long and abundant. Maine. Clean the spring or well during the increase of the moon, so the water will run in and fill the spring after it is emptied. Mansfield, Ohio. Make soap in the new of the moon. Talladega, Alabama. Make soap in the full of the moon. Prince Edward Island. Do not marry or move during the wane decrease of the moon. 
Mansfield, Ohio. To take away warts, steal a dish rag out of the house, without anybody's knowledge, and go out of doors in the first of the moon, rub the dish rag on the wart, and say, Here, new moon, take away my new wart. Then throw the dish rag away where no one will find it, and tell nobody. Talladega, Alabama. To cure warts, go out of doors when the moon is new, take up a handful of mud, looking at the moon all the time, and rub on the wart. Halderness, New Hampshire. End of chapter 15. Read by Dennis Sayers in Modesto, California for LibriVox. Spring, 2007. Chapter 16 of Current Superstitions. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, visit LibriVox.org. Current Superstitions by Fanny Dickerson Bergen. Chapter 16 Sun. Domestic and Mechanical Operations. Superstitions 1,141 through 1,150 To make good bread, stir it with the sun. To make good yeast, make it as near sunrise as possible. Northern Ohio If you wish to secure lightness, you must always stir cake and eggs a certain way, that is, the way the sun goes. Kittery, Maine Nashua, New Hampshire, Eastern Massachusetts, and Southern Michigan. Eggs and cake are commonly beaten, and butter made by stirring sunwise. Newfoundland. To make cake light, it must always be stirred the same way. Dalton, Massachusetts, and Alabama. In cooking soft custard, the stirring must be continued throughout in the direction in which it was begun. Otherwise, the custard will turn to whey. Eastern Massachusetts If, after turning the crank of a churn for a while with the sun, you change and turn the other way, it will undo all the churning you have done. Ferrisburg, Vermont Ice cream will not freeze rightly, unless the crank is turned the right way. Concord, Massachusetts In making lye soap, if you stir it backward, it will turn back to lye. Warren County, New York, and Alabama In melting sugar for taffy, stir always one way, or it will grain. Alston, Massachusetts. In greasing the wheels of a carriage, always begin at a certain wheel and go round in a set way. Peabody, Massachusetts. Cures. Superstitions 1,151 through 1,157. In rubbing for rheumatism, etc., rub from left to right. Sunwise. Concord, Massachusetts. Ringworm may be killed by moistening the finger in the mouth and rubbing sunwise around the diseased spot. Central Maine. To rub for Sweeney, rub the diseased part of the horse's shoulder with a corn cob with the sun every third morning. Northern Ohio. Rub a corn, a wen, etc., with the sun if by day, with the moon if by night. The sun or moon will draw all the pain away. Related 
by a Pennsylvania German. Northern Ohio To cure a curb in a horse, rub it with a bone at the going down of the sun. Plymouth, Ohio A conjurer can rub away a rising boil by coming to your bedside about daybreak, before you speak to anyone, and rubbing the rising for nine successive days. Talladega, Alabama To cure a burn, moisten it with saliva, repeating, As far as the east is from the west, come out fire and go in frost. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, come out fire and go in frost. Blow three times, and rub sunwise three times. To be taught to not more than three persons of the opposite sex. Eastern Tennessee End of chapter 16 Read by Dennis Sayers in Modesto, California For LibriVox Spring 2007this is a librivox recording all librivox recordings are in the public domain for more information or to volunteer please visit librivox.org recording by michael corley current superstitions by fanny dickerson bergen chapter 17 death omens 1158 to raise an umbrella in the house is a sign of approaching death pennsylvania somewhat general in the United States. 1,159. To open an umbrella in the house is a sign of ill luck. An action of this sort seriously disturbed a friend of the informant, an American girl of good family. I would never dare to do that, she said. Niagara Falls, Ontario. 1,160. If a hoe be carried through the house, someone will die before the year is out. Mansfield, Ohio. 1,161. Carrying through the house a hoe, spade, or axe indicates a death in the family. Virginia. 1,162. Carrying an axe or any iron implement through the house, and someone will soon die. Southwestern Michigan. 1,163. Death is foretold by the ringing of a bell that cannot otherwise be accounted for. Southern Ohio. 1,164. When breaking bread, in baking, cracks across the top, it means death. New Jersey and Ohio. 1,165. Cracks on the top of a loaf of bread indicate the death of a friend. Several localities. 1,166. When bright red specks resembling spattered blood appear on linen, it is held to be a token of misfortune, probably of death. Northern Ohio. 1,164. If the candle burns blue, it is a token of death. 1,168. To see a coffin in the candle is a token of death. Boston, Massachusetts. 1,169. To see a winding sheet in the candle has the same significance. Virginia. 1,170. Three lamps or candles burn close together mean death. Virginia. 1,171. If a sudden and unaccountable light is seen in the carpenter shop, it indicates that the carpenter will soon have to make a coffin. Cape Brenton. 1,172. If a coffin creaks in a carpenter shop, another order soon follows. Newark, New Jersey, and Virginia. 1,173. If the coffin does not settle down smoothly into place in the grave, but has to be raised and lowered again, another family member will die inside the year. Stevens Point, Wisconsin. 1,174. Change a sick person from one room to the other, and he will die. 
New Jersey. 1,175. If a clock, long motionless, suddenly begins to tick or strike, it is a sign of approaching death or misfortune. Newark, New Jersey, Virginia, and North Carolina. 1,176. If a corpse remains soft and supple after death, another death in the family will follow. Trinity Bay and Princeton, New Edward Island. 1,177. A cow mooing after midnight means death. 1,178. To dance on the ground indicates disaster or death within the year. Boston, Massachusetts. 1,179. The hearing in the wall of a death watch or death tick betokens a death in the house. General in the United States. 1,180. A dishcloth hung on a doorknob is a sign of a death in the family. Deerfield, Massachusetts. 1,181. To knock on a door and receive no answer is a sign of death. Virginia and Inglewood, Illinois. 1,182. The last name a dying person calls is that next person to follow. New Hampshire. 1,183. Sometimes the dying call for an absent one, as if in trouble. This is a sign that that person will have great trouble in afterlife. New York. 1,184. Death takes place at ebb tide. New England coast. 1,185. The person on whom the eyes of a dying person last rest will be the first to die. Boston. Massachusetts. 1,186. It is a sign of death to see a flower blossoming out of the sea, as, for example, a rose in the fall. This has proved a true omen in several cases, according to the experience of a lady who believes in these signs. In consequence of this belief, when she has such a flower, she will pick it off the stem and throw it away, without mentioning the incident to anyone. Niagara Falls, Ontario. 1,187. It is a sign of death to see a tree blossoming in the fall. Orange County, Virginia. 1,188. If a garment is cut out on Friday, the person for whom it is made will not live unless it is finished on the same day. Southern Indiana. 1,189. If you begin a quilt on Friday, you will never live to finish it. Maine. An act of this sort gave great distress to a domestic servant who, until after the completion of the quilt, daily expected disaster. This woman came from French Canada. 1,190. If a doctor is called on Friday, the patient will surely die. Cambridge, Massachusetts. 1,191. If a hearse is drawn by two white horses, death in the neighborhood will occur within a month. Central Maine. 1,192. If anyone comes to a funeral after the procession starts, another death will occur in the same house. Ohio. 1,193. At a funeral, the first person who turns away from the grave will have the next death in his family. Trinity Bay. 1,194. If one goes to a funeral with the intention of following to the grave, but does not do so, a death will soon follow in his family. Virginia. 1,195. If it rains during a burial, another member of the family will soon follow. Poland. Baldwinsville, Ohio, and Alabama. 1,196. If the rain falls onto an open grave, another burial in the same cemetery will occur within three days. Western New York. 1,197. If you meet a funeral train, it is a sign of death. Prince Edward Island. 1,198. Do not let anyone wear your hat to a funeral when you've not worn it before yourself. Massachusetts. 1,199. Whoever counts the carriages at the passing funeral will die within the year. 
Peabody, Massachusetts, and Illinois. Or someone will die. 1200. If shot, remain in the gun after firing, someone in your family will die. Labrador. 12001. If you build onto your house, you will die within the year. Labrador. 12002. Lie down on a table, and you will die before the year is out. 12003. To hold a lamp over a sleeping person causes death. Massachusetts. 12004. To break a looking glass is a sign of death in the family before the year closes. General in the United States. 12005. To break a looking glass is a sign of death or bad luck for seven years. This is a quite a general belief. Domestic servants, and particularly superstitious persons, are often thrown into a panic by accidents of the sorts, general in the United States and Canada. 12,006. If three persons look into a mirror at the same time, one will die within the year. Peabody, Massachusetts, and New Hampshire. 12,007. If one tries on mourning when not wearing it, he will have an occasion to wear it soon. Pennsylvania. 12,008. To put on a bonnet or hat of one in mourning is a sign that you will wear one before the year is out. Peabody and Boston, Massachusetts, and Niagara Falls, Ontario. 12,009. To drive on a nail on Sunday is a sign that someone in the family will die within the year. Pigeon Cove, Massachusetts. 12,010. Hearing an imaginary rap and opening an outside door lets death in. Fettisburg, Vermont. 12,011. The hearing of three raps is a sign that some member of the family is dead. Boston, Massachusetts, Orange County, Virginia. 12,012. If a member of the family after long separation meet for reunion, some of the members of the family will die within the year. Cambridge, Massachusetts. 12,013. Ringing in the ear is a sign of death. General. 12,014. Ringing in the ear means death before the week ends. Of this ringing, the term death bell is used. It may be said by a countrywoman, Oh, I have heard the death bell, or what a death bell in my ear. You will hear a death before the week is out. In case of sudden death, such person might say, I'm not surprised. I heard the death bell on such a day. Northern Ohio. 1215. The term death bell is also popular in Prince Edward Island. 1216. In some localities, the direction of the apparent ringing indicates the direction from which the news of death will come. 1217. If an empty rocking chair is seen to sway back and forth when apparently unoccupied, it is supposed that the chair is held by the spirit of some deceased family member who has come back to choose the next to go and call that person quickly. Michigan. 12,018. A spot resembling iron rust on the finger means death. Maine. 12,019. Beginning on Saturday, a garment that cannot be finished means death. Ohio. 12,020. Deaths do not come signally, but if one of the family dies, a second death in the family will occur within a year. Cambridge, Massachusetts. 12,021. Whoever works on a sick person's dress, he or she will die within the year. Massachusetts. 12,022. If someone is sick and a storm comes, it is a sign that they will die during the continuance. Virginia. 12,023. When a woman who has been sewing puts her thimble on the table and sits down to eat, it is a sign that she will be left a widow if she marries. Central Maine. 12,024. If one sings at the table when the family is eating, it means the death of a friend. Webster City, Iowa. Or bad luck in Virginia, or disappointment in New Jersey. 12,025. If three drops of blood fall from your nose, one of your family is dead. Labrador. 
12,026. If you sneeze on Sunday before breakfast, you will hear of death inside of a year. Ohio and Maryland. 12,029. When you shiver, it means that someone is walking over the place where your grave is to be. General in the United States. 12,030. If sparks are left unintentionally in the ashes overnight, it is a sign of death. Cumberland. 12,031. If sparks of a fire fly out of an open stove door, it is a sign of death. Trinity Bay. 12,032. If anyone in the town lies dead over Sunday, there will be another death before the end of the week. Bedford, Massachusetts. 12,033. Three horses of the same color indicate death, but this sign is not very noticeable in a thickly settled community. Baldwinsville, New York. 12,034. Three chairs placed accidentally in a row mean death. Ohio. 12,035. If there is a death, there will be three deaths in the family in a short time. New York. 12,036. To break the spell of a 13 at a table, all should rise together, otherwise the first up, or as some say the last down, dies inside a 12-month. New England. 12,037. If 13 sit at a table, the one who rises first will not live throughout the year. Somerville, Massachusetts, New York, Miffleton, Pennsylvania. 12,038. If 13 sit at a table, the last one who sits down will not die that year. Brookline, Massachusetts. 12,039. If window shades fall down without being molested, it is a sign of death. Cape Brenton. End of chapter 17. Section 18. Mortuary Customs. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Kelly Robinson, Birmingham, Alabama. Current Superstitions by Fanny Bergen. Chapter 18. Mortuary Customs. Number 1240 through 1270. If saltwater pigeon's feathers are in a bed, the sick person on it will not die easily. Newfoundland. In old colonial burying grounds, in Plymouth, Concord, Cambridge, and Rutland, Massachusetts. The graves are so placed that the headstones face west, that is, the body lies with the feet toward the east. Perhaps general in New England. Among Irish Catholics, it is usual to place the body with the feet toward the door. The body of a young girl is usually draped in the robes of the society to which in her church she belonged. Over the corpse is constructed a white canopy, from one end of which images of white doves are often hung. At the feet is a stand or table on which flowers are laid, and where at night candles are kept burning. Boston, Massachusetts. Country people turn the mirror to face the wall, while one lies dead in the house. Northern Ohio. While the corpse is in the house, the looking-glass must be turned toward the wall. Otherwise, whoever looks into the mirror will die within the year. This custom is said to be most common among Irish Catholics, but it is not confined to them. Baldwinsville, New York. Bad luck, instead of death, is also said to follow violation of this rule. Washington, D.C. If, when anyone dies, you put the coffin in any other room than the one the corpse is in, some other member of the family will die within a year. Western Massachusetts. I have noticed at funerals of the aged that when elderly people passed by the casket, they would touch the forehead of the dead person. I was confident that there was some superstition connected with the act, because the same look was apparent on every face. But on being asked why this was done, 
They pretended it was bidding an old comrade goodbye. At last one told me that it was that they might not dream of the dead or see them. Westport, Massachusetts. It is usual, after the conclusion of the funeral service, for the persons present at the ceremony to pass in front of the dead and look on the face. Not to perform this token of respect is felt as a lack of propriety. It is not uncommon for the undertaker or some person in charge of the proceedings to say in a loud voice, an opportunity is now offered to those who desire to look on the face of the corpse, or words to that effect, general in the United States. Only male relatives take part in the funeral procession. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. In regard to the ceremonies at the grave, usage differs widely. In New England, it is usual for near relatives to attend, and, in the case of important persons, for a procession to march to the cemetery. Among Catholics, a great number of friends attend the hearse of persons in humble life. It is an old Connecticut custom that the yard gate should never be shut after being opened to let through a body being carried from its former home to the graveyard. The funeral procession must not cross a river. Baldwinsville, New York. I was first led to notice the superstition about crossing a river from having to attend funerals on the south side, when they would otherwise have been held on the north side. This is losing ground, owing to the frequency of crossing to reach the cemetery, but I had an instance only last spring. Baldwinsville, New York. The corpse must not pass twice over any part of the same road. Baldwinsville, New York. It is unlucky in a funeral for those present to repass the house where death has occurred. Baldwinsville, New York. At a funeral, entering church before the mourners means death to some of the entering party. Boston, Massachusetts. It is a bad sign to drive past a funeral procession. Maine. It is unlucky to pass through a funeral procession, either between the carriages or the files of mourners on foot. This is a general superstition. The custom, which has become instinctive with many persons, is usually set down to the score of decency and propriety. General in the United States. To meet a funeral is bad luck. To avert it, turn round and take three steps backward before going on. St. John, New Brunswick. It is bad luck to meet a corpse. One may follow it, but never meet it. A colored person will turn square about on seeing a funeral procession approaching. Talladega, Alabama and Virginia. To keep the corpse in the house over Sunday will bring death in the family before the year is out. South Framington, Massachusetts. If the grave is left open over Sunday, another death will occur before the Sunday following. Boxford, Massachusetts. If a grave is covered on Friday, Another in the same family will follow inside of a year. Chatham, New Brunswick. If a grave is left open overnight without the corpse, another death in the family will soon follow. Virginia. It is bad to disturb an old grave, as by putting up a tombstone. You will thus herald a death. Chestertown, Maryland. Many will not go through a graveyard on the way to call on friends, for fear of bringing death into the house. Massachusetts. The clothes of the dead wear out quickly. Westport, Massachusetts. The clothes of the dead never wear long when used by the living. New York. If you put clothes of a live person on a corpse, when the clothes decay, the owner will die. St. Joseph, Missouri. It is quite customary, both in the United States and in Canada, to give the whole house a thorough cleaning after a death has occurred even when the deceased has undergone no prolonged illness and has died of no contagious disease. A day or two after the funeral, one sometimes sees, particularly in country homes, feather beds, mattresses, etc., etc., put out to air. Sometimes even rooms are whitewashed in the purification process. End of 18. Section 19. Miscellaneous Actions. This is the LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. 
For more information or to volunteer, visit LibriVox.org. Common Superstitions by Fanny Dickerson Bergen Section 19 Miscellaneous Actions 1271 through 1379 If a child in eating an apple merely girdles it and leaves the apple good at stem and below, it indicates that he will be a poor man. The saying is, A poor man's core. It is unlikely to turn back after starting to go anywhere. To avert misfortune after turning back, make the sign of the cross in the dust with the heel, and spit in the cross. Arkansas, Negro, and Kentucky It is unlucky to turn back after having once started out. Quebec To get out of bed on the wrong side puts one out all day. He got out of bed with the wrong foot foremost, said of a person who has a fit of crossness. Northern Ohio To drop your books on the way to school signifies that you will make mistakes in your lessons. Chestertown, Maryland Drop a book and you will miss your lesson, unless it is immediately picked up and kissed. Alabama Whoever eats the last piece of bread will be an old maid. Pennsylvania If you break something, you will break two other things. Maine, Massachusetts, and Northern Ohio. To twirl a chair on one leg means that you are going to fight with somebody. Peabody, Massachusetts. Whirling an empty chair indicates that a whipping is in store for the transgressor. If you twirl a chair around on one leg, it is a sign that you are about to break dishes. Chestertown, Maryland You mustn't pay the doctor entirely, or there will be sickness in the family. Lonsdale, Rhode Island you must leave by the door through which you enter, or there will be trouble with the family, or ill luck to yourself. Pennsylvania If you leave by any other door than the one through which you have entered, it is said that you will not come again. Cumberland, Maine In bathing, the eyes should always be rubbed towards the nose, as that makes them large, and rubbing out the opposite way makes them small. Cambridge, Massachusetts In climbing a fence, get over, meet with clover, get through, meet with a shoe, get under, meet with a blunder. Sunderland, Massachusetts. If you step on a grave, you will never grow any more. Chestertown, Maryland, Negro. Step over a living thing, and that thing, whether a human being or not, will not grow any more. Province of Quebec, Canada. To step over one leg of a child will cause it to grow longer than the other. Baltimore, Maryland To comb the hair after dark is a sign of sickness. Comb your hair after dark, comb sorrow to your heart. Connecticut If you comb your hair after dark, it will make you forgetful. Northern Ohio if the right hand itches, you are going to get money. If the left, you will shake hands with a friend. If the nose itches, a friend is coming. Talladega, Alabama 
two persons wiping hands on the same towel and twisting it occasions a quarrel. Pennsylvania. Wash and wipe together, live in peace together. Northern Ohio. If two persons wash their hands at the same time, they will be foes forever. Alabama. When two persons put one hand of each flat together, palm to palm, they will quarrel. Province of Quebec, Canada. If two persons clasp hands so as to lock the fingers, bringing the palm of one person against the palm of the other person's hand, it will break friendship. Newton, Massachusetts. If you hug your knee, hold your knee in clasped hands, you will hug up trouble. Salem and Medford, Massachusetts. When your joints crack, it is a sign that you have not outlived your best days. New York, New York. If you kiss through a veil, there'll be a coolness. Portland, Maine. Crossed knives are a sign of a quarrel. Stir up with a knife, stir up strife. Never look after a friend who is leaving you till he is quite out of sight, or you will never see him or her again, but turn your eyes while he is still visible, that he or she may return. General in the United States Never say good-bye more than once, Alabama. One who habitually bites the nails is ill-natured, Ohio. If you bite your nails, you will always be poor, Massachusetts. If you sleep with your head towards the north, it will prevent sickness, general in the United States. If you can cut a pie fair and true, you'll have a likely husband. If you make the slices uneven, he'll be crooked. If you make a bed handsomely, you'll have a handsome husband. If you cut pie straight, you will go to housekeeping. If you cut pie crooked, you will have no house to keep. New Hampshire. If you make a rhyme involuntarily, you will have a present. New Brunswick. The free use of salt is a sign of having a temper. Lynn, Massachusetts. To say anything backward is a sign you will get a present. Peabody, Massachusetts. If you sing before you eat, you'll cry before you sleep. Ohio and Iowa. If you sing before breakfast, you will cry before supper. Cambridge, Massachusetts. If you laugh before breakfast, you will cry before supper. Prince Edward Island and Somerville, Massachusetts. Little birds that sing in the morning, the old cat will catch before night. Accustomed to be said to children when they are especially hilarious in the early morning. Northern Ohio. If a child sing before breakfast, it will get a whipping before night. New Hampshire. To sing after you go to bed is a sign that tears will come before breakfast. Maine. If the sole of either foot itches, you will walk on strange ground. Boston, Massachusetts. When about to begin a new enterprise, 
one must not step over straws in starting out. If you stumble with the right foot, it means a glad enterprise. Pennsylvania Negro In going anywhere, if you strike the right foot, you will be welcome wherever you may be going, and, if the same happens to the left foot, you will be on strange ground. Belleville, Ohio To sit on a table is a sign of coming disappointment. Maine and Massachusetts In drinking tea, if you take a stem in the mouth, it means an enemy. You must bite it and throw it over the right shoulder. Central Maine If you stub your toe going into a house, you are not wanted there. Guilford, Connecticut if, in going visiting, you stub the right toe, you are welcome. If the left, you are unwelcome. Massachusetts and Ohio If you stub your toe going anywhere, it means a disappointment. Bathurst, New Brunswick Stub your toe, lose your bow. Salem, Massachusetts. To bite the tongue while talking means that you have told a lie. If you bite your tongue suddenly while eating, it is a sign one is coming hungry. Cambridge, Massachusetts. In going along the street or path where there is a tree, go inside rather than outside the tree, for you will be disappointed if you take the latter course. Eastern Massachusetts In drinking water, if you glance over the last, you are a flirt. Pennsylvania Whistling girls and crowing hens always come to some bad ends general in the United States. Whistling girls and sheep are the very worst cattle a farmer can keep. A whistling girl and a laughing sheep are the very best property a man can keep. Northern Ohio Girls that whistle and hens that crow make their way where Ever they go. Whistle before you eat, cry before you sleep. Baldwinsville, New York. End of section nineteen from Current Superstitions. Read by Dennis Sayers in Modesto, California, winter two thousand and seven. Section 20. Miscellaneous, Bodily Affections, and Apparel. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Kelly Robinson, Birmingham, Alabama. Current Superstitions by Fanny Bergen. Chapter 19 miscellaneous bodily affections and apparel number one thousand three hundred and forty through one thousand four hundred and one bodily affections if the right cheek burns someone is speaking well of you if the left they are speaking ill of you if both they speak well and ill at once moisten the finger in the mouth and touch it to the cheek naming those whom you suspect the one at whose name it grows cool was speaking of you. New Brunswick. If your right ear burns, someone is talking well of you. If your left, he is talking ill. General in the United States. If you bite the corner of your apron, 
you will make backbiters bite their tongues. Pennsylvania. Pinch your ear, and the person talking of you will bite his own tongue. If the right ear burns, it is a sign that someone is thinking well of you. If the left ear burns, it is a sign that someone is thinking unkindly of you. But if both ears burn, friend and foe are fighting about you. Pennsylvania. If your ears burn, people are talking well of you. If your ears are cold, the contrary. New Hampshire. If your right ear burns, a lady is speaking of you. If the left, a man. Maine and Pennsylvania. If your left ear itches, someone is saying unpleasant things about you. But if your right ear, pleasant things. Some say, both left and right are good at night. Cambridge, Massachusetts. If the right eye itches, it is a sign you will cry. If the left, you will laugh. Because R stands for roar and L for laugh. Baldwinsville, New York. If the right eye itches, you'll laugh. If the left eye, you'll cry. Boston, Massachusetts. If your eye itches, someone wants to see you and can't. Peabody, Massachusetts. If you look at one who has inflamed eyes, you'll catch the disease. Maine and Ohio. If your elbow itches, you will sleep with a stranger. Boston, Massachusetts. If the right foot itches, it is a sign you will go where you will be welcome. If the left foot itches, it is a sign you will go where you are unwelcome. Baldwinsville, New York. If while going to see anyone, your left foot itches, you are not welcome. Alabama. The nose itching is a sign you are going to get mad. Peabody, Massachusetts. If your nose itches, it is a sign of a present. If your nose itches, someone will be provoked with you. If your nose itches, it is a sign that you'll be mad, see a stranger, kiss a fool, or be in danger. Prince Edward Island. If your nose itches, you will see a stranger, kiss a fool, or be in danger. Peabody, Massachusetts. If your nose itches, it is a sign you will be kissed, cussed, or vexed. Somerville, Massachusetts. If the nose itches, some say you will receive a letter. Others declare it is a sign your lover is thinking of you. Baldwinsville, New York. If the palm of the hand itches, it is a good sign that you will kill something. Labrador. Itching in the palm is a sign of a fight or of seeing a stranger. An unexpected scratch denotes surprise. A long scratch across the palm denotes a sleigh ride. Pennsylvania, Negro. A scratch on the hand denotes a ride. The length of the scratch indicates the length of the ride. New England. A scratch on the right hand is a sign of a ride to come. On the left, a disappointment. Baldwinsville, New York. If your knee itches, you are jealous. Boston, Massachusetts. Being lousy is an indication that the lousy person is in good health. Newfoundland. Some hold that the white spots that one has on the fingernails represent the lies you have told. Maine and Baldwinsville, New York. If you shudder without apparent cause, someone has stepped over or upon your grave. Gilsom, New Hampshire. If you shudder, it is a sign that a rabbit is running across or a goose is eating grass from your grave. Chestertown, Maryland. There is an old superstition that every sigh causes a drop of blood to flow from the heart. Exeter, New Hampshire. Smooches made on the face by soiled fingers, called beauty spots in Ohio, mean a present. New Brunswick. A lump on the tongue means that you have told a lie. Prince Edward Island, New York, and northern Ohio. Apparel. If you mend your apron or dress while on you, someone will lie about you. Maine and Alabama. As many stitches as you take in mending a garment while wearing it, so many lies will be told about you. New Hampshire. If a garment is mended while being worn, it is a sign the wearer will do something he is ashamed of before the week is out. Newton, Massachusetts. If one mends his clothes upon his back, it is a sign his trouble will never come back. Connecticut. Basting threads left in a garment signify that it is not yet paid for. 
Massachusetts, and Ohio. Put your clothes on the wrong side out, and you'll have a present before the week is out. Peabody, Massachusetts. If, when dressing, one puts on any of his clothing wrong side out, it is a sign that he will soon receive a present. Alabama. If you happen to put your shirt on wrong side out, you are likely to get a new one. Alabama. You mustn't talk when some article of dress you are wearing is being mended, or someone will talk or tell lies about you. In dressing for a journey, if you wish to have good luck, dress the right foot first. Belleville, Ohio. If the hem of a lady's dress turns up, she is sure to have a new one. Alabama. While sewing on a garment, should you sew it to your dress by mistake, as many stitches as you take, so many lies will be told about you. Baldwinsville, New York. If you break your needle in making a dress, you will live to wear it out. If you tear a hole in a new dress, the first time wearing it, you will have a new one before that is worn out. Dear Isle, Maine. If you break a needle in sewing a new gown, it is a sure sign you will live to wear out the garment. Holyoke, Massachusetts. If you break your needle in making a garment, or have to rip out some of it, you will live to wear it out. Boston, Massachusetts. If a white petticoat falls below your dress, it is a sign that your father loves you better than your mother. New England. Crooked pins are a sign that the owner is an old maid. Province of Quebec, Canada. Should a friend withdraw a ring from the finger of another, it is a sign it will break friendship. The owner should take off the ring and hand it to the friend. Baldwinsville, New York. A hole in the toe of your shoe or stocking, so as to show the toe, means a letter. Cape Britain. Old shoes, particularly the soles, were often buried by Negro servants on Monday morning to keep the devil down through the week. Chestertown, Maryland. Save the old shoes to throw after the carriage. When any of the family start on a journey, it will ensure a safe return. Massachusetts. Wear the boot or shoe on the side, a rich man's bride. On the toe, spend as you go. On the heel, love to do wheel. On the ball, live to spend all. Boston. Hole in the toe, spend as you go. Hole at the side, be a rich bride. Hole at the heel, spend as you feel. Hole on the ball, live to spend all. New York. Wear at the toe, live to see woe. Wear at the side, live to be a bride. Wear at the ball, live to spend all. Wear at the heel, live to save a deal. New York. Wear on the toe, spend as you go. Wear on the ball, love to spend all. Wear on the side, you'll be a rich bride. Of stockings. Wear at the toe, spend as you go. Wear at the heel, spend a good deal. Wear at the ball, you'll live to spend all. South Carolina. End of 20. Section 21. Miscellaneous. Customs, Days, Domestic Life, and Various. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Kelly Robinson, Birmingham, Alabama. Current Superstitions by Fanny Bergen. Chapter 19. Miscellaneous Customs, Days, Domestic Life, and Various. Number 1402 through 1475. Customs. Halloween cabbages are pulled and thrown against the owner's door as a reminder of his laziness. Southern Pennsylvania and Ohio. Shelled corn is thrown at everyone, the significance not known. Southern Pennsylvania. If a man is insulted and means to be revenged, he will bare his arm and cut a cross in it with his knife, called a vengeance mark. Mountains of North Carolina. If you wash your face in dew before sunrise on May Day, you will become very beautiful. Alabama. Dry spots where there is no dew are called fairy rings. Salem, Massachusetts. 
Run round a fairy ring twice on Easter Sunday morning, and fairies will arise and follow you. Salem, Massachusetts. The looking glass is often turned with the face to the wall or taken out of the room during a thunderstorm because quicksilver is so bad to draw the lightning. Bathurst, New Brunswick. You are said to take the manners if you take the last of any kind of food from a plate. New England. Manners dish is the dish put on for show and not expected to be eaten. Northern Ohio. Homeopathic pills must be taken in odd numbers. New England. When a meteor is seen, Catholics often say, a soul is ascending into heaven. A present of a knife or any pointed instrument cuts friendship. Always sell it for a penny. A present of pins breaks friendship. General in the United States. There was a superstition among old people who had never been much abroad in the town where I was born, Stratham, New Hampshire, that if they were photographed, they were likely to die soon after, and many rather objected on that account. Stratham, New Hampshire. After sneezing, it is customary to say, God bless you. General in the United States. A bit of steel, such as a needle, protects one from witches. Brookline, Massachusetts. A thief may be detected by a key turning in the Bible to Psalm 1, 18 through 21, when the name of the guilty person is mentioned. Labrador. Days. What you do on your birthday, you will do all the year. Salem, Massachusetts. On cutting the fingernails. Cut them on Monday. Cut them for news. Cut them on Tuesday. A pair of new shoes. Cut them on Wednesday. Cut them for health. Cut them on Thursday. Cut them for wealth. Cut them on Friday. Cut them for sorrow. Cut them on Saturday. See your sweetheart tomorrow. Cut them on Sunday. Cut them for evil. All the whole week you'll be ruled by the devil. Baldwinsville, New York. If you wear a garment for the first time on Saturday, you will have another one before it is worn out. Bedford, Massachusetts. Study on Sunday. Forget it through the week. Nashua, New Hampshire. If, of your own accord, you leave home for Sunday visiting, you will be forced to leave for two Sundays following. Labrador. Get a letter on Monday, and you'll get six during that week. New York, New York. If you break anything on Monday, you will break something every day in the week. Somerville, Massachusetts. If you break anything Sunday, you will continue to do so every day of the week, or as you commence Sunday, so you will go through the week. Eastern Massachusetts. If you begin anything Saturday, it must be finished that day or it will not get finished. Boston, Massachusetts. Sneeze on Monday, sneeze for a letter. Sneeze on Tuesday, sneeze for something better. Sneeze on Wednesday, sneeze for news. Sneeze on Thursday, sneeze for a new pair of shoes. Sneeze on Friday, sneeze for sorrow. Sneeze on Saturday, see him tomorrow. Niagara Falls, Ontario. Sneeze on Monday, sneeze for danger. Sneeze on Tuesday, kiss a stranger. Sneeze on Wednesday, receive a letter. Sneeze on Thursday, something better. Sneeze on Friday, sneeze for sorrow. Sneeze on Saturday, see your true love tomorrow. Sneeze on Sunday, your safety seek, or the devil will have you the rest of the week. Crown Point, New York. Sneeze before twelve and one, and you will hear news. Brighton, Massachusetts. Sneeze at the table. There will be one more or one less at the next meal. Alabama. Sneeze before your breakfast. See your bow before the day is past. Brighton, Massachusetts. If you sneeze once, a girl is thinking of you. Twice, she is wishing for you. Thrice, it is a sign of a cold. Alabama. Sneeze before seven, sneeze before eleven. Boston, Massachusetts. What you sew on Sunday, you'll take out on Monday. What you sew on Sunday, you'll rip out in heaven. Massachusetts. 
never cut your toenails sunday or you will do something to be ashamed of before the week is out granville massachusetts cut your nails monday morning without speaking and you will get a present before the week is out some have it without thinking of a red fox's tail instead of without speaking westport massachusetts domestic life it is supposed that a broom placed behind the door will keep off witches brunswick new york to burn the stub of a broom or break a sugar bowl means a quarrel westport massachusetts a spark seen on a candle or lamp when the light is extinguished means the receipt of a letter st john new brunswick and salem massachusetts wet the finger and touch the letter on the candle if it comes off on the finger it means a letter for you maine the letter in the candle will face the one for whom the letter is to be if the little snuff bud is bright it means a letter northern ohio if the candle is sooty or shows a spark in the wick on blowing out it is a sign that a letter is on its way if chairs become entangled legs interlaced etc it means a quarrel bathurst new brunswick if you choke food gets in the windpipe it means someone has told lies about you cape britain it is a sign of good old-fashioned economy to use up a dishcloth until it can be put into your mouth massachusetts if a door opens of itself it is supposed to indicate the presence of a spirit usually one of the family massachusetts it is unlucky to name a child after a dead child of the family newfoundland if you begin keeping house with many in the family it is a sign that you will always have a large family or houseful ohio if a wood fire snaps and sparkles each time it does indicates the receipt of a letter peabody massachusetts one of the negro superstitions was that when the fire burned with a blue flame it was the devil seeking to speak to them a handful of salt would make him go away alabama sweep the floor after dark you'll see sickness before morning if while eating you drop food on the floor it is a sign that someone is telling lies about you cape britain food dropped on the floor by one signifies that someone grudges you it common in the united states do not change your place at table it is very unlucky new york new york if you keep changing your furniture to different places you'll be poor massachusetts not drinking the whole contents of a glass or cup means disappointment westport massachusetts if sooty bubbles form and blacken on the wick in a lamp burning whale oil each bubble indicates the receipt of a letter peabody massachusetts when sparks are seen on the bottom of the tea kettle it is a sign that folks are going home from meeting new hampshire and boxford massachusetts sparks flying from a fire mean letters the number of the sparks is the number of the letters boston massachusetts if a spark or sparks jump out of the fire and hit you or come towards you it is a sign someone has a spite or grudge against you bathurst new brunswick two spoons given to one person denotes that that person will have two homes before the year is out chestertown maryland the tea kettle suddenly singing means news patton maine various a stratum of warm air indicates the presence of the devil boston massachusetts irish if when a newly married couple go to housekeeping she slyly takes her mother's dishcloth or dish wiper she will never be homesick old mrs so-and-so told me that she believed that was the reason she was not homesick when they moved from pennsylvania to ohio ohio to have a sharp knife is a sign of a lazy man central maine passing anything through a ladder is a sign of a long passage conception bay newfoundland if a ship has a starboard list it is a sign of a quick passage if a port list it is a sign of a long passage conception bay and new harbor newfoundland write the date of the first snowstorm 
and you'll gain a bet before the winter is through. Massachusetts. To ascertain a girl's age, pull a hair from her head, hang a finger ring from this inside a tumbler or goblet, and it will strike the number of years. Boston, Massachusetts. Throw a strand of your hair in the fire. If it blazes, you will live long and happily. If not, you will die soon. Alabama. If a tree falls to the right while you are looking at it, you are going on a long trip before the end of the year, and you will have some unexpected piece of good luck. Alabama. A person born on Halloween is said to be possessed of evil spirits. Alabama. Place a broom across the door, and if any of your departed friends wish to speak to you, they are free to come and go at will while the broom remains there. Alabama. If a person who raises fowls is bothered with hawks, he may prevent the trouble by throwing a handful of rocks into the fire while it is burning brightly. Alabama. End of 21. End of Current Superstitions by Fanny Dickerson Bergen.